how to create a social link tree within uh, ClickFunnels. So here's your tutorial. Uh, you can visit me at either Amigo Labs or come to me as a person. Um, you know, my profile, my social, you know, personal profile is Mr. Gummy, but I usually run it everything through my agency, uh, Amigo Labs. So here you go. Just click on the social link that I have here. That'll bring you to uh, my link tree page on mobile. This is what it's going to look like on mobile. Uh, just a really quick reference. This is a, this is for my agency. I give a, you know, a, a guide to growing on Google. Uh, I do a free uh, website audit. You know, visiting my website, obviously, I'm going to move that down. And then this is the one that you want. Make your own profile link page. Uh, this is huge. Just click on that button. It'll bring you into ClickFunnels. Once you're logged into ClickFunnels, you will have a 14-day free trial if you haven't used it. Um, if you have ClickFunnels, it'll just bring you in here. And go to Edit Page. Once you're into the page editor, I'm going to run through some basic concepts. Um, you get this is a template but you are more than welcome to to do anything you want you can copy these links you can use these links um quite frankly you should use your own but i'm not gonna uh, i'm not gonna argue with you here um just to see obviously it's really spread out because we are in what's called a desktop view i'm going to suggest that you build everything back into mobile view um here i would go into swapping out grab either your business logo or in an earlier video I showed how to make a headshot so here's my headshot I'm gonna come over here um, it really looks cool when it's a radius however you can keep it as a just a square image especially if you have a transparent background so I'm gonna go back to circle I'm gonna change its size to uh, 250 maybe 200 there you go because again we're in the mobile view uh, on top of that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw a headline in here. I'm going to say, um, I am going to go here, say John Lamares. And in here, we're going to select the font. We're going to go with a lobster, make it a little bigger. And then we're going to make it white. Okay. Um, under here, I'm going to throw in a subheading and I'm going to say, um learn more about me i might actually use this one after we're done no that looks a little funky and again this is all up to uh, you know your brand whatever your brand colors are um, you know, go along with that. However, I like things that aren't so rigid, but not sloppy. So here we go. Learn more about me. Okay. Um, here's a cool little hack. Mac users, um, control command keyboard will bring up icons. And over here, I'm going to click. I'm going to go with. I think it's some arrows. Here we go. Bam. Make them over here. Ooh. Go to history. It should be right there. Bam. All right. So that's how you would set it up on a Mac. Um, the other thing to look out here is looks like my top padding is at 10. I don't really need any top padding here um, because guess what? It's all the way at the top. <laughs> There we go, top, there we go. Um, now, these buttons are here. Uh, these buttons happen to have a glowing effect. Um, I believe, okay, so you have a couple of options when it comes to click funnels in terms of effects. I like to use either the glow, which you can find here, or I like to use the bounce, okay? The bounce will kind of draws a little bit more attention. So let's say that um, for instance, I'm going to say uh, uh, my agency, uh, I like caps, my agency, uh, we go labs, digital marketing agency. Okay, so here you go. 
you know, people are going to go there. I'm going to change the button location and I'm just going to go to So that's going to take them right to my website. Um, same window, back. Sorry. Why is it not? Go to your do, 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 do. in the same window. Let's see. Button action not set. Mm. Oh. oh. See if that works. There it goes. I don't know. I did something funky, but it's there. Um, let's say over here you have an affiliate program. You've been talking about affiliate program. You've been talking about a product. Um, we can do something like uh, buy my products, right? And we go here and we can make it uh, done. Okay. So the big thing here is. What you want to do is you want to load up all this information here. Now, um, here's a little bit of a, a, a nice little thing to do with when it comes to um, ClickFunnels. Come over to Settings, Background. Now we can choose a solid colored background. Totally acceptable. Nothing wrong with selecting a color. However, as you can see, there's a pinwheel moving, and I'm not exactly sure why. Let's see. That could be. Which could it be? What could it be now? I don't know what's going on. So I'm going to save. Glitchiness is glitchiness. I love the glitch. Okay. Save. Save background. Oops, still out. I'm going to go get the kick out of here. I'm going to go back into it. Clearly I'm dealing with some kind of glitchiness, maybe bandwidth issue since I'm doing a screen recording. Could be anything. I'm not gonna blame it on a platform. Here we go. Now that we're back in, we should not have glitchy. There you go, glitchy's gone. So, oh, I wanted to show you this cool little uh, thing. It is cssgradients.io. Pretty cool. Uh, what I recommend is coming over here. Um, so what I did is I just kind of searched for uh, either clear or, I'm sorry, either dark or, you know, if you have a, a theme that you like more, totally acceptable. Um, I kind of like this, you know, dark to light, and I like to use red. Um, I don't know why I'm so attracted to the color red. I'm just going to download this JPEG. You can totally grab the CSS file for this. So you can get the CSS and actually code it in to the website. That's one I built before. But what I like to do is just grab the JPEG, bring it over here, and drop it in. Okay? So now that this it's going to be a, an actual file, you could code it in, but now I'm going to grab a file. I'm going to drop it in, and here we go. So here you go. Now, the colors don't really match very well, and we can fix that by just, you know, coming over here and, and adding, you know, some white. Uh, we could add, we could make them yellow. Um, I've you know, I'm not going to go too much into different color palettes, but you definitely have the opportunity to, to change this out. Uh, that yellow is super bright whenever it clicks through. So I'm just going to go to a muted. Oh, no. Let's see. Here we go. Advanced. Text color. No, it's good. And then... I like it. Okay, so here we go. Um, and again, you can change that color in the background. So you can change it because I used the file. If you're not going to use the file, you can come over here to uh, CSS. And now you can drop in the background code, get CSS, copy the clipboard, and drop it in. That's how I would do this. Now, again, I said go back to mobile. This is the way it's going to look like on somebody's phone. Um, you know, this video is being taken before I switch out my personal profile. So the next time you're on my personal profile, I might have this up there and running. Um, that's it. If you have any questions, if you need any help, I'm here for you. Uh, big things. Oh, 
let's go into a little of the details in, in terms of what ClickFunnels requires here. You're going to have to set You're going to have to set up which domain uh, clearly i have a lot of domains that i work with you're going to have to set up the domain that you want to use um, you're going to want to set up its path um, i'm just going to call it in for insta and then i'm going to save this and update settings so next time you see this it will look like doo -doo 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 -doo. I'm going to shorten this link. Update page. Yeah, it's update. Okay. So it will update and then we'll be good to go. Uh, publishing. There we go. I won't take it. I got to figure out what other pages is setting that up, but we will not have a problem. We have a path. Okay. All right. Um, important. Go to your thank you page. Uh, your thank you page is for, I have it set up for when people submit to the autoresponder. When you come on down here, give it and hit join. Now they go into the next page which is here. Obviously it's still set to Amigo Labs. Make sure you change this to reflect what your current page is. You know, there's a lot of options here. You could hit, you know, clone funnel step and make it uh, change. You could split test a variation of this page. Definitely set up a page, your Linktree page, so that it's mobile ready. Build it in mobile, throw in mobile links, try 